So today we're going to be programming the Europi module, just having some messing around. Got it in my rack, we can control plats is what it's plugged into at the moment, but you can plug it into anything. Um, I've got each of the CV outputs plugged into stuff, nothing plugged into the inputs yet, but we might do that later. Um, in my program, which is in the Thony IDE, just follow the programming instructions in the GitHub linked in the description if you haven't followed it already, and that'll set up your module ready for programming. So to start off with, we've just got the obvious from Europi import star. That just imports everything from the Europi module, which will be in the lib folder. So if you look here, you can see everything here. Everything is explained on the GitHub, so you'll know how to use it. But it is also pretty self-explanatory. So for example, we've got the level input of plats is plugged into CV6. So if we do CV6 dot voltage 5 and run the program, then it will be on. If we change that to a voltage of zero, it will be off because it's turning the level down to zero. Now CV6 isn't a very nice way to re refer to the voltage that's coming out. It's going into level, so you might as well just redefine it at the start of your program. Level equals CV6. And now when you do operations on that CV, you can just call it level, which kind of is a lot nicer to use. There you go. So how about also using one of the other parameters? So Tamba in the mode that I'm in, the chord mode of plats, is the chord inversion. So if I change CV2, it's connected to that orange wire. We'll just do Tamba equals CV2. And then you can set that to something else as well. that's really high and then if you set that back down to zero it's a different one kind of fun sounds a bit nicer if it's on a, a lower frequency and it's fun just messing around and pressing play on the program each time but you might as well put it in some kind of loop so how about we press tab to just put these in a loop while true which means it will just run forever I'm going to set that high, set that there, and then sleep for, say, half a second. And then instead of doing voltage zero, you can just do off. That's just included in the Europi program. And then we'll sleep for half a second again. That's kind of interesting already. How about if we want Tamba to change to some random voltage? So I'm going to import the random module. Uh, that's just from random import random, which will let me generate a random integer. And then for the timbre, I'm going to use a random integer of 0 to 5 because it takes a 5 volt input in plats. So now each time it's going to be a random chord inversion. Which is kind of interesting already. If we turn down the attenuator on plats so that it's a little bit more subtle and then just turn this up frequency so you can hear a bit better. That's already pretty interesting. So morph is the next one I'm going to change. That's the green wire going to CV4. So I'll just write on here. Morph equals CV4. And then I'm just going to copy and paste this and do the exact same random voltage for morph see what that sounds like. That's kind of interesting. Just appreciate that for a little bit. How about if instead of plugging this into level, we plug it into trig, so we'll get that nice plats decay envelope. And if we just hold this button, then we can change the uh, the length of that. That's quite nice. Oh, I haven't done morph off, so that's why it's got that kind of strange changing sound. I'll just do that one off as well. 
There we go, that's more like it. That's kind of interesting. So how about now making it a little bit more rhythmic, making it change only every few steps or something. So I'm going to make a variable just called steps. Step, sorry. Make it equal to zero. And then every step, I'll just add one to it. So now we can do something like with this timbre, only making it change every four steps. So to do that, you can do if step, and then that's the modulo function. So it means if it's a completely even division of, so I'm using four. So it means obviously three doesn't evenly go into four. It'll only be every multiple of four will equal zero. So that's the, the remainder of the step divided by four. When the remainder is zero, it's a multiple of four. So it'll only change the timbre every four steps. So if you run that, it's kind of almost a rhythm. It's using random voltages, so it won't be a perfect rhythm, but it sounds kind of interesting. And then maybe we'll just copy this same code, use it for the morph and do that on every maybe eight steps. Now that's almost a rhythm. Now I want to be able to change the speed of this program. So I'm going to have this sleep value controlled by one of the knobs. So first of all, you can just make the delay. We use knob one, K1, dot read position. And then if we do 10, it will be zero to 10 seconds, which is a huge delay. So instead I'm going to do 100 and then divide it by 100 which means that it's a resolution of 0 to 100 steps. Actually I'll put that outside there, there we go. But it's divided by 100 so it's 100 steps but it's only going from 0 to 1. But that means that when the knob's at the top position it will be a wait of 1 second so it'll be really slow. But we actually want it to go the other way to be a bit more intuitive so the frequency is going up as you turn the knob up. So all we need to do is one minus that, which will kind of invert it. And now if we just use, we want delay there, delay there. Now it's fast when the knob's high and slow when the knob's low. That's kind of fun. Well, we don't exactly know how long that delay is gonna be or what's actually happening when we're turning the knob so we might as well write it to the screen. I'm going to use OLED.center text. And the text will just be delay. Ah, so it's saying float object has no attribute split, which is because delay is a float, which just means a number with a decimal place. So instead of just using delay, we need to use str delay, which is string of delay. String just means text. So it will convert that number, which is delay, into text, which is what the OLED needs. So if we run that again, there you go. And I've forgotten to add OLED show. So <laughs> OLED.show each time. And it's going to write over itself, I've just realized. So if you change it, it's going to date. There you go. So. That's the amount of time in seconds that it's waiting in between. And it gets very small at the start. That's kind of interesting though. Now we're kind of getting a rhythm. That's fun. Now how about doing harmo? So that's gonna be the kind of chord type. It's like seventh or minor or major, that kind of thing on this mode of plats. Anyway, obviously you can use this on any mode and it'll sound completely different, which is the joy of the module. So that's coming out of CV5, change it to CV5. And then harmo, I'm going to make it two different values. So We'll have 
first of all I'm going to just set it to be off to start with. Well, might as well just use dot off actually, a bit simpler. And then every, I don't know, 16. So it's a bit longer. We're going to do homo dot toggle, which will just, if it's roughly low, then it will change it to 5 volts, and if it's high, then it will change it to 0 volts. So it's not perfect for controlling a specific parameter, but it's useful for digital parameters. So we probably shouldn't be using it for this, but it's just for demonstration purposes. See, so that's kind of interesting. It's changed to the chord type every 16 steps. Just turn that up a bit. kind of subtle but you can definitely hear that that's almost a melody that you're getting there which is kind of interesting oh that's cool I might just reduce the attenuator on this one so it's a bit less uh, Oh, that's cool. And we've done it in, what's this, 35 lines of code, including spaces. That's not too bad. And it's not taking us too long either. About 10 minutes. Now, instead of just displaying the text, I'm going to do what step in the program it is. So instead of displaying the delay because you can kind of tell what delay is doing while you're turning it I'm going to display the current step which will just if we start from the start again oh I've done the exact same thing I need to do the string of step of course there we go there you go you can see what's happening now So it's a pretty nice example of what the module can do, how it's quite easy to program quite complicated things, like this would need quite a lot of modules to make this kind of sound with just one voice and a controller, you'd probably need you know, five or six modules to make the control voltages that come into this, you could use maybe a Turing machine that's locked, then you'd need something different to control the other voltages, probably some expanders, you'd be racking up in the price range. But with this one, all you need to do is program. And the whole point is that now I can just change this program on a whim. I can just say, oh, I don't quite like this, or I wish it had this extra feature. And I can just program it. I can just plug it into my computer, change the code, and now it does what I want. And of course, if you want to get wild, just change the mode on plats and now it's doing something completely different. Put it on this, uh, there we go, I've gone past it. This string mode. And now it's a completely different thing. happy programming.